Hey guys, I'm back for another episode of Caricature Speed Painting with Marcus. This is episode 15, and I'm going to be painting the StarCraft casting archon, Tastosis. For those that don't know who these guys are, the guy on the left is Artosis, and the one on the right is Tasteless. They live and work in Seoul, South Korea, casting Korean StarCraft matches. I'll post links to their websites in the description box below. Real quick before going into story time, this painting took about two hours and seven minutes to finish. I feel like it came along pretty quickly, seeing as there were two people instead of just one. So let's get into it. I left off talking about Japan in my last video. I remember talking about how good the ramen is there. I've had ramen again since then in Korea and America, and they do not compare in the slightest. I of course looked for some Japanese art stores because they make some badass art supplies. There is this one pen in particular that I fell in love with. It's a brush pen and the brand is Zebra. They're friggin awesome, and anyone who likes sketching should try one of these out. I found a place where you can order them online, and I'll put a link to it below. I stockpiled like 12 of them before leaving Japan, and I ended up giving most of them away as gifts to my artist friends when I got back to America, but I still have a few left. But yeah, let me tell you about how I met Tastosis. So I was in Korea for about a month and a half, and my friends on Facebook were asking me if I'd been to the GSL yet. The GSL stands for Global StarCraft League. I told them that I didn't know where it was, and that I didn't have tickets, and that I'm pretty busy working most of the week. And they said that it's free to go, they're open like every day, and then linked me directions from the GSL website. They were pretty good directions too. There were like photos for every corner you have to take as soon as you get out of the subway. Turns out the GSL was only like 15 minutes away from where I was staying in Seoul. It was my day off, so I decided to go over and check out some pro Korean StarCraft matches. I arrived at the high school where the GSL is held and walked up to the studio room. The room was pretty empty when I got there, about an hour before the show started. I took an empty seat in the back left, near where I knew Tasteless and Artosis were going to be casting. There were tons of lights hanging on the ceiling and lots of camera crew walking around. There were giant ads for Pepsi everywhere, and there was a fridge out front where you could get free Pepsi or Gatorade so that the audience, casters, and players could be seen drinking it when the show started. So the room started filling up. It seemed like a ratio of 75% Koreans and 25% white people, which I assume were Americans. Just about 10 minutes before the show started, Tasteless and Artosis showed up and dropped their stuff off at their casting station. All the Americans' heads turned because I'm sure those guys were the reason they came to the GSL in the first place. I got up and asked them if I could take a photo of them after explaining to them what I do on my YouTube channel. I was very happy to hear that they recognized a few of my StarCraft pieces like Day9 and Jinro. They were both really cool about it, but told me to wait until later because they had to start the show soon. I then spent most of my time not watching the epic Korean StarCraft matches, but sketching Tasteless and Artosis. After about half an hour of that, I watched the matches, and they were pretty epic. At halftime, they brought out free pizza for everyone in the studio. That was awesome. Oh yeah, shout out to that guy that was sitting in front of me and said that he saw all my videos on my channel. That was like the first time I've ever been recognized in public for my work. Uh, but yeah, Tasteless and Artosis. I felt like they were rock stars. Everybody wanted to get an autograph or photo with them. And before the show and during the breaks, they had to tell everyone to wait because they were too busy and actually did need a break from casting. So once the show was finished, I asked them if they could pose for me. And they kindly did what I told them to do. <laughs> It was kind of difficult, actually. I asked them to put on their headsets and then act like they were casting. So they started looking at their monitors, but I wanted them to look up at me. I tried telling them, but they couldn't hear anything with their headsets on. I told them, act like I'm the camera. Look at me and just give me your most natural casting faces. It took a few awkward moments, but I snapped a few good photos to work from, 
and after I said that I was done, they were promptly swarmed by the rest of the Americans. Well, it was really fun going to the GSL, and I should have gone back after that one time, but I just didn't have much free time the rest of the summer. So now I'm back in America, ready to start my final semester at art school. I had a really great time in Korea, and I made a lot of friends at the caricature company I worked at. I also lost some weight just by eating the Korean food alone. No exercise involved. <laughs> It kind of made me more conscious about what I eat here in America. I think I'm going to continue to eat what I want, just in smaller portions. But anyways, I'm finishing up this painting here. I really like the way it came out, with the blue light stuff in the background and the, the warm skin tones. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this painting or listening to my story about Korea, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm planning on doing some other popular YouTube guys in the future. Cough, epic mealtime cough. <laughs> also, leave a comment to let me know what you thought about my painting or my story or who I should paint next. Till next time, see ya!